the judges have to be the voice of reason within the legal system. They are the, the part of the checks and balances within the legal system, but that's still only one system, all right? There are other, there, you know, there's three branches for the government, okay? There's there's the, uh, the judicial, legislative, and executive. So there are checks and balances within the judicial, but, I mean, it's still a small scope of, of, uh, of action, of uh, just, 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 uh, they have their own bias, okay, within their own system. That's why there's a system of checks and balances, because the executive and legislative can also step in and influence the uh, the judicial process, all right. And uh, for somebody to fight the law, you're you're fighting it within that that uh, that system, and that may not be the wisest choice to make. I saw my, uh, like, the supervisor, gr uh, groundskeeper guy, uh, his name's Emilio. Uh, he was wearing one of those copper bracelets, and I had to ask him if it was working for him, and he said it, it did. It did work. Uh, it has little magnets at the end of it. It doesn't attach all the way like this does. It's just kind of, uh, it's a bracelet. It's a copper bracelet. But uh, I used to wear one and be, because I had wrist wrist pain, and the pain went down considerably. I stopped wearing them. I I mainly use these these magnets. Uh, these magnets, the copper will stain your wrist green. <laughs> His wrists look fine, but he probably takes more showers than I do. I gotta say, I ate a lot of cilantro yesterday. And I think that's what's causing some weird, like, feelings in my chest. It's just a strange feeling. I never had that when I... I only had one lemon when I ate the, the salmon. And I've eaten more lemons with salmon before. But I did eat a lot of cilantro, which is a little unusual. And uh, it must have some kind of effect on the chest area. But it's, it's like, it doesn't seem deadly, it's just... So it's just a little alerting. All right, so there's possible um, further damage because that spring looks like it's uh, bending forward a little bit. Not sure how much how much more damage there is. I believe the guy hit right right in here. He's kind of got some stuff wedged in there. Right on my tire. Alright, so it's angled in a little bit. I think it can be seen angled in from the rear at best. But yeah, the tire's holding up okay. Uh, I just, yeah, it's just in comparison to the other tire, it's pretty angled, but uh, I guess I can get that, uh, whatever, the balancing done. But I think I, I want to get new tires for the balancing before I do balancing, so I just gotta gather up the funds and see what I can afford. I think I'd like to just get an estimate on body work, how much that would cost. Just out of curiosity, I'm not exactly interested in doing that. Uh, I'll just take the this look. I'll have to accept this appearance, but uh, just out of curiosity. Okay, are you really enjoying life by paying a landlord you may not like is a uh, monthly due? And yes, you could go to another landlord, but in my experience, 90, over 90% of them are, are real jerks and they're no good to deal with. Why should, you know, and knowing that, you know, I have to pay them money, it just, it really takes away from the enjoyment of life for me. So I heard in the news that there's some homes on top of the hill suffering from the erosion damage. You can clearly see with all the bumps that it's, it's definitely on the move up there. And nothing can keep the ground from moving because 
the land, the, the climate is just too harsh. Oh man, that is quite the squeak. I don't know, still don't know how to handle that squeak. Just something I endure. Alright, so after changing the tire, got the, the old tire back on. I think I want to drive to to Hillcrest, to the Hillcrest Library. So I'm going to head there so I can actually get on my laptop again. <clears throat> Assuming that the car makes it. This is a nice little spot to park. Not many people come up on top of this hill. <clears throat> I'm not no I don't know about sleeping. Man, my car makes some weird noises. I bet a lot more got shaken up besides that tire. But yeah. You can hear that little squeak every so often. But uh yeah. Going whoop. I think I got something loose in the back. Okay, uh, just coming back online here. I think the tire is rubbing against something. I want to believe that it's just cloth, but I'm not sure. I, I thought it looked a little close. I thought it looked a little close to the cloth. Like the bumper got pushed in so it's a little bit closer to the tire. So when I hit a bump, the the shocks, and that shock isn't straight up and down now, but that that uh, that needs it needs you know it's designed to have so much space for shock room, and there's less yeah you know, there's that noise even when I hit a little bump. Something is rubbing as soon as I hit a little bump. Oh my god, that's awful. Something sounds like it's going to give. Oh my goodness. I should probably stop. I'm, I'm a little scared now because um, it should not be making any noise. It didn't make any noise when I drove my with my with my spare tire. Um, something's definitely rubbing um, and uh, yeah it's got to be the tire hitting something. I thought it would only hit hit the Hit hit the little cloth thing, but it could be hitting the the bumper itself. Even I'm not sure, or it could be a completely different noise altogether. There's Avery. That's I think that's Avery right there. He's walking. Yeah, I think I just drove right by Avery again. Or saw Avery again. He's yeah, this this tire is is uh it's making some noise. I'm not sure if uh, something's gonna pop or what. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need to check the tread when I get to my location. I wonder if those cops ever caught Avery yet, because that looked like Avery again. He's walking. I mean, how many black guys are going to walk wearing a hoodie? That's what's familiar. He's about the same height, skinny guy, looks young. I, I, I bet if I had a word with him, I would hear the same voice. Oh no. Oh shoot, that's my turn. Uh, yeah, I'll just go into here. Maybe I can wrap around. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's some noise. I should just get out and take a quick look. Okay, so 
this needs a lot more clearance. It's, it's my tire is rubbing just a little enough against, against the 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 bumper. Okay, I just pulled it back and it made a big snap, so now it's extra loose. I don't know if that's going to cause more problems or not, but um, yeah, that's in bad shape. It's it's going to be rubbing against my my tire and wearing away. Already, this is just in absolute contact. Already, this this uh, cloth, and as you can see, it needs that much, or it has that much space. It needs. It needs this much space, which is, you know, two inches. It was designed, there's a cloth right there, dusty. There's about maybe three fingers worth of, of space all around behind. Um, and, and I only have one, barely, barely one finger space. So it's rubbing, it's hitting. I don't know how to hold this bumper back. I'm just gonna take it easy because that's all it's rubbing and it's it's only plastic. Plastic on rubber. Just gotta watch those bumps, I guess. Alright, so after pulling the, the bumper back a little bit, I don't I'm not hearing the rubbing because I'm hitting some bumps and I'm not hearing the rubbing of the tire. <laughs> There's not much space. Uh, in there, but uh, maybe I'm just not hitting bumps as well as I should be. All right, so after yanking that bumper back, it was it, it cracked back. I stopped hearing the uh, the, gr the the rubbing sound, so that shows there's a tire rubbing against the bumper. And also, I seen Avery again. Now I got I'm gonna email the cops and ask them if they've they've located Avery because I keep locating them. And, I mean, isn't this, isn't a hit and run kind of a big offense where it's jailable or something? Um, you know, I can't call the cops immediately that uh, I, I, I see him because I don't have a cell phone. Uh, but uh, maybe, I guess I'd have to follow him and find out where he's, where he's going. If I hate to do that, but if the cops aren't finding him... It looks like I have to do my own investigating. I can't call them immediately. It's it's a difficult situation with that one.